Hello and welcome to the Kennel Connection training video on daycare reports. In this training video, we'll be going over the numerous reports in Kennel Connection that you can use to manage your daycare stays and revenue. To access these reports, we're going to go to the Reports tab at the top of Kennel Connection. When going to the Reports tab, you'll notice a number of Frequent Reports sections to the right. One of these is the Daycare Frequent Reports section. This is an area where you can access frequently used daycare reports. However, all daycare reports will be accessible from the daycare dropdown to the far left. This is where we will be accessing all of the daycare reports through this training video. At the top of the daycare reports list, we have the attendance count. When running the attendance count, we can choose the beginning and end date that we want to run it for. When printing reports, majority of reports will have the option to print either to the screen or to print to your local printer. The daycare attendance count report will give you an attendance count for each day of the date range you choose, plus the grand total. This is going to be the number of daycare pets in your facility for each day. Next, we have the option to print the daycare card. When selecting daycare card report, we will be given the option to print the screen printer or to email the daycare cards to customers. We can choose the size of the daycare card, and we can choose whether to print out just the pet currently selected on the daycare schedule, all incoming pets, all outgoing pets, or all pets for this date. When printed, the daycare card will give you the basic information for the pet and customer, including additional notes and services scheduled for that daycare visit. Daycare cards can also be accessed by selecting a reservation on the daycare schedule, right-clicking, and then selecting daycare card from the drop-down menu. Next in the daycare reports is the contract. This will allow you to print the contract out for the pet on the schedule. Like the daycare card, daycare contracts can also be printed from the schedule by right-clicking on a reservation on the schedule and selecting contract from the drop-down. Next, we have a number of reports that track information regarding package days used for daycare. First, we have the daycare days used listing. When running the daycare days used listing, choose your date range, and then you can either select a customer using the search option, or if you leave the search field blank, you will get a list for all customers in the system. The daycare days used report will give you a list of all dates that packages were used for pets within the date range you selected. It will also indicate whether that was a client package or a pet package, and if it was a full package or a half day package. One note, if you have Kennel Connection set up to take half days off of full day packages, the daycare days used report will not be able to distinguish a half of a full day from a full day. It will not indicate the, the type of day that was taken, but only which package it was taken from. Skipping to the next report that has to do with packages, we have the daycare client package expiration report. When running the daycare client package expiration report, select the date range, and the resulting report will give you a list of all client packages that expire within the date range you selected. A few sections below that, we have the daycare pet package expiration report. Choosing the date range will result in the same 
type of report except for pet packages. Finally, for daycare packages, we have the daycare package days left report. This report will give you a list of all pets and customers in Kennel Connection with packages and tell you how many package days are remaining on their packages. The daycare log report will print a list of all pets on the schedule for the day showing on the daycare schedule. The daycare log can be printed here from the report section, or if you go to the daycare schedule, simply click the print button and the log for the current day showing on the schedule will print. The daycare client warnings report will give a list of all clients that have a client warning whose pets are on the schedule for the day showing. Next, we have the option to run delivery and pickup reports. When creating a reservation in the daycare schedule, you have the option to select delivery and or pickup to indicate that that pet needs to be picked up from the customer or delivered back to the customer. Delivery and pickup reports will give you a report showing all of the scheduled deliveries and pickups for the day showing on the daycare schedule. And the deliveries or pickups, depending on which report you run, will be displayed on the report, along with any delivery or pickup notes you might have entered. The departure service report will give you a list of all pets that have scheduled departure services for the day showing on the daycare schedule. The departure services report will give you the scheduled departure service time, services, and rates. Next, we have the services reports for exercise, feeding, and medication. Choosing any of these services reports to run will bring us to the main services report field. Here we can choose which service reports we want to run, which periods of the day, whether or not to include pets that do not have the selected service scheduled. We also have the option to print the services for all modules. And if we're printing an exercise report, we can choose the specific exercise. The resulting report will give us a list of the services we selected, in this case medications, the name of the service, the quantity, where the pet currently is, and which time of the day the service occurs. The future appointments report will give us a list of all future appointments for the pet selected. Each pet for that customer will have the list of future appointments, including the date and the time. For keeping track of your facility's occupancies, we have a monthly report and a weekly report. For the monthly report, you're going to choose the month and year. And you can also choose whether to print a detailed report or just a summary report. The monthly or weekly report will give you a list of the pets that stayed for each date. If you're printing the detailed report, it will give you the pet names and details of those stays. The summary report will only give you the total number of pets staying for each day. 
Next, we have the past daycares report. This report can give us a list of the past daycare stays of a specific pet or for all pets in the system. We can choose the sort by the end date or the last name, choose the date range, and then again choose all pets or a specific pet. The resulting report will give us a list of all pets that have been in on those days in the date range selected. The rate charged for each day will also be included and the end of the report will give us a grand total both for each day and for the entire time frame selected. Keep in mind that these rates showing on this report are gathered from the reservations on the schedule and not from invoices. Any changes made to the rate on the invoice will not be reflected in this report. Next we have the pet warnings. Like the client warnings report, this report will give us the list of the pet warnings for all pets on the daycare schedule that have pet warnings. Next we have report cards. Report cards can be created for pets on the schedule by selecting the pet, right clicking, and then selecting report card. This will bring up a blank report card that we can choose options and enter additional notes to document the pet's behavior and appearance during the stay. When creating these report cards, you can print them or email them directly to the customer. Once you save the report card, they can be accessed from the pet card under the notes tab in the report card section. From there, we can also print or email them and we can open them up for reference. From the report section, we can choose the report cards option to print or email all report cards for the current day or for specific pets we want to select. The list that comes up to select from will only list pets that have report cards filled out for them on the current day on the schedule. Once you've selected print or email and selected which pets, from the select option, clicking OK will either print or email those report cards. Next we have reservation confirmation. When creating reservations or modifying reservations in Kennel Connection, you have the option to mark a reservation as confirmed. If you are confirming reservations, you can use the reservation confirmation report to provide a list of all pets whose reservations have been confirmed on the date range you select. The resulting report will give you a list of all pets scheduled within the date range selected with a checkbox to indicate whether or not the reservation has been confirmed. The box will have an X placed in it for all reservations that have already been confirmed. The signature sheet provides us with a printed list of all pets scheduled that clients can sign when picking up or dropping off their pets. That covers the reports available in Kennel Connection for the daycare module specifically. In the daycare section of the report section, we've gone over a number of reports here covering daycare packages, services, attendance, and other documentation of daycare stays. I hope you found this training video uh, useful and informative. 
If you have any questions regarding the daycare reports reviewed in this training video, please feel free to contact the training department here at Blue Crystal Software. You can do so by dialing 888-486-4343, extension 307, or you can send an email to training at bluecrystalsoftware.com. Please be sure to check out our other training videos on the YouTube Kennel Connection channel. Other training videos I would recommend that are related to information covered in this training video would be the training video on creating and managing daycare packages and creating and managing appointments. Thank you.